everyone, it's uh, 11.30, I've got a client now at 12 um, and today is actually the start of my um, hit challenge, which I'm doing for two weeks. Basically, I'm going to take you through a protocol of how I train high intensity interval trainings, sprint training and so on. The outcome should be, and this is what this testing video is going to be about, is that I want to increase my sprinting ability. So I want to sprint faster at the end of the two weeks than I do today. So today I'm going to take my my sprinting time 100 meters if I can't find a 100 meter track otherwise we use the same track and just try to increase that time. So I'm still on the outlook for one. I have one in mind which I'm going to go to today. So that's where I start my split. That was the first day I actually measured it. Um, yeah, and now I actually need to do some training. But you can see, we're gonna compare this. Um, you know, I've got two weeks left in this gym, so we have something to compare it with. And then I'm gonna to try to find a similar sort of area so we can see always the progression in terms of the split. So that's gonna be awesome. My handstand sucks today. I'm not really good at it. Um, but, whew. I still need to do the sprint somewhere, but we'll see. espresso here in uh, apostrophe I changed it from Costa to apostrophe so Felix if you're watching this you need to find apostrophe now <laughs> anyway I thought I'll just talk you through this little routine or what I'm planning for the next two weeks and why and so on and so forth we still have some time before I see my client so I thought about doing a cardio challenge because you guys uh, you know said why don't you do one and I don't like long distance running so I decided to do hit training now the way I thought I'm going to be doing it within the next two weeks. Now, my goal is to increase my time, my sprinting time, for ideally 100 meters. I need to find a 100 meter track though. Um, whatever track we find, I'm going to use that one now, basically, and in two weeks time to see, you know, to see what, how, we, how we increase. But I think finding a 100 meter track in London ain't that easy. Right. So how am I going to break down the training? I thought doing um, three sprint sessions in, in a week plus three high intensity classes which target upper body like Tabata style um, which is basically 10 seconds on, 20 seconds off for four minutes. You do eight exercises and then you're basically dead. That's just by the protocol. And that's going to be, I'm going to be doing like burpees, uh, jump squats, um, I don't know, something explosive plyometric which will help you for the for the sprinting as well. And on those days when I do the uh, Tabata class, I will also do my handstand training and my, my, my split training and stuff because that is something which is ongoing, which I want to develop like I told you guys in the video before. And, uh, and I think on the Sunday, obviously I will have a rest day. Yeah. That's sort of the protocol I have in, in my head right now, but you know, as you know guys, uh, once we get into this, I don't know if, uh, if that's gonna be what I'm gonna be doing because I might need a rest after, after my first day of sprinting, but I don't hope so. I haven't sprinted for probably two months, so this is gonna be really interesting. Um, yeah, so let me know what you think, if this is the protocol you, you're gonna be excited about. Anyway, I'm gonna be talking about the benefits of high intensity training, what I'm doing, uh, using the heart rate watch, how to use and all these things. I will explain them throughout this whole challenge. So make sure you stay tuned, subscribe now if you haven't, because this is gonna be educational for you in terms of uh, increasing performance. That said, let's increase performance by drinking a double espresso. <laughs> by the way, if I haven't told you, I gained weight again. I gained up to, I'm 90 kilos again because I didn't feel comfortable actually being uh, 86 kg 
it was just something to show you it is possible to drop down the weight and you know lose weight and so on but for me I didn't feel comfortable in that weight range because also in terms of uh, strength having the strength I needed to get back to my 90 kg where I feel comfortable but that's just me you know I mean other people want to be shredded all the time that's not me right Three o'clock now and I got some cakes and some snacks from Paul because today is a, a refeed day for me so I'm gonna have some cakes and uh, later on we're actually gonna it's not really a refeed is it we're gonna go to Nando's I think which is like a chicken shop um, yeah just gonna get some nice food in today just want to let you know what I'm doing um, once I'm I'm going to a friend's house so once I unpack this I'll give you a little bit of a of an update. It's not all for me, it's three people, so looking forward to eating that now. Um, and then I'm actually going to be working on my website for for some some time. I need to get, get that all updated. Now after the thousand rep challenge, I've got a bit more time, but you know, as it is, it seems like my channel is all about challenges, so I need to somehow sort that out, my time management. But you guys, uh, I hope you're enjoying it. And again, you know, leave a comment in the comment box below what kind of stuff, what else you want to see. All right, it's four o'clock. I'm set up. I'm doing my editing for today's vlog. And um, yeah, so after that, I'll tune back in. I know I forgot to show you the cakes. I was too excited, so I ate them all. Um, yeah, that's how it is <laughs> with cheat days. You don't really, uh, you know, show food. You just shuffle it down. At least I do. All right, guys, this is it for today. It's 3.15, it's time to, you guessed it, punch the like button, punch the subscribe button, and I'll see you guys freaking tomorrow.